Good evening viewers, welcome to the Islam Tribune, you are watching Superfast and I'm Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. In a sensational incident, three youths allegedly assaulted a group of journalists who were diligently performing their duty of gathering news during the late hours of Saturday in Guwahati. Reportedly, the incident took place in the Japuri Gog area where the journalists were targeted by the youths who were in an inebriated state. Meanwhile, police apprehended one person while the other two managed to flee. A fatal road accident claimed one life while another sustained grievous injuries on Saturday in Assam's Chirang district. The tragic incident occurred in National Highway 27 under the Sidli police station. As per sources, the, a passenger bus en route from Bongagao to Gosaigao rammed into a two-wheeler with two occupants. A Bangladeshi national was held by the troops of the Border Security Force in Charakuri of Karim Ganj on Saturday after he entered the Indian territory by swimming across the Kushiara River. The, the arrested individual has been identified as Sahibuddin. Guwahati police have apprehended two cyber criminals involved in a massive fraud scheme looting rupees 2 crore from victims within a week. The accused used the uh, internet to carry out fraudulent activities targeting bank accounts of common citizens. In a significant crackdown on counterfeit currency circulation in Assam, the police conducted a raid in Dhubri's chopper, unearthing fake currency valued at approximately Rs 2 crore. During the raid, the police apprehended Sahinur Islam, a resident of Dhirghat in Chapur. Eruption of a mixture of gas and mud created potential health hazards for the local locality in Manipur's Imphal East on Saturday. The district magistrate Imphal West informed that the incident happened at Langthabal Kunja Awang Lake on Friday. The district magistrate said the incident is currently under inspection by a team of state disaster response force and other technical experts to find out the causes. France's ambassador to India, Thierry Mathau, after visiting the sacred groves at the Moflang, said the world needs to learn more about environmental and biodiversity protection from the people of Meghalaya. During his visit to the sacred groves, Mathau and his spouse trekked about three kilometers of the forest and were given a guided tour by the traditional head of Moflang, Tambor Lingdo Moflang. In a major crackdown against drug trafficking officers from Bishalgar police station in the state of Tripura on Saturday evening intercepted a vehicle where officials uncovered a substantial quantity of narcotics in the possession of the detainee. The street, the street value of the confiscated drugs is approximated to be a staggering rupees 1.2 crore. Asian champion Aman Seherabad secured a Paris 2024 quota for India in the men's 57kg freestyle category at the World Wrestling Olympic qualifiers in Istanbul, Turkey on Saturday. Sherawad, a under-23 world champion, beat Chong Sung Han of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea by 12-2. Israeli troops are engaged in fierce fighting with armed Palestinians in the north of Gaza Strip. The military wing of the Palestinian Islamist organization Hamas cited heavy clashes between its fighters and Israeli forces in the area of Jabalia. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.